Have you ever wondered why some days feel heavier than others, even when everything seems just fine? We're diving into a topic today that's often shrouded in silence, yet it's a battle that countless individuals wage every day. Depression. It's a word we've all heard, but do we truly understand its gravity? Depression is a pervasive, unseen enemy that affects millions across the globe. It's not just feeling sad or having a bad day. It's a relentless storm that can cloud one's thoughts, drain energy and make even the simplest tasks feel like climbing the steepest mountains. It's an ailment that impacts every facet of daily life, from work to relationships, even our ability to enjoy the simplest pleasures. Depression, an unseen enemy, affects millions worldwide, but what if we told you there are ways to conquer it? Stay tuned as we unravel nine tips to help you fight back against this invisible adversary. It is high time we equipped ourselves with the right tools to fight this invisible adversary. In the journey to conquer depression, knowledge is power, and it is the foundation for our battle plan. Nine essential tips will be our compass, guiding us through the fog of this mental battlefield. First, we'll delve into self-care and its pivotal role in our well-being. Then we'll illuminate the importance of social connections, showing how our relationships can be our strongest shield. The next three tips will explore the power of positivity, the need for regular exercise, and the vital role of a balanced diet. Our final set of tips will focus on the importance of professional help, the value of hobbies, the significance of a regular sleep schedule, and lastly, the role of medication. Each of these tools holds the potential to chip away at the fortress of depression. Each tip brings us one step closer to winning the battle. The first weapon in our arsenal is self-care, a powerful tool often overlooked in our daily hustle. It's not just about pampering oneself with bubble baths or massages, though they do have their place. It's about catering to the most fundamental needs of our bodies. Let's start with regular exercise. It's not only about sculpting a Greek god physique, but about releasing those endorphins, our body's natural feel-good chemicals. Exercise, be it a brisk walk or a heavy workout session, helps in combating depression by reducing anxiety and improving mood. Then we have adequate sleep. The importance of a good night's sleep can't be overstated. It's during these quiet hours that our body restores and heals itself, preparing us for the challenges of the next day. Lastly, a balanced diet. Nourishing our bodies with the right nutrients is crucial. It's like fueling a car. The quality of fuel affects the performance of the vehicle. Remember, your body is the fortress that guards your mind. The second tip is social connection. We humans are social animals wired to connect with others. It's in our very nature. When we isolate, we're not only going against our intrinsic nature, but we're also depriving ourselves of a critical lifeline. Social connection is a powerful tool in the battle against depression. It provides comfort, understanding, and a sense of belonging. It reminds us that we're not alone in our struggles, that there are others out there who care, who are willing to lend a listening ear or a helping hand. Reach out to friends, family, join a club or group, engage in community activities, or even seek professional help if needed. The point is to connect, to interact, to share, and to listen. Do not underestimate the power of a simple conversation or a shared laugh. It can be a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. After all, no army can win a battle alone. The next three tips form the core of our battle strategy. Firstly, therapy. It's not just about unburdening your soul in front of a complete stranger. No, therapy is a partnership, a journey that you undertake with a professional to explore the depths of your emotions, to understand the roots of your depression, and to find ways to navigate through the darkness. It's a process, a journey of self-discovery. It's about finding the strength within you and utilizing it to conquer depression. Secondly, medication. Now, this isn't about popping a pill and expecting your worries to disappear. It's about understanding that depression like any other illness, sometimes requires medical intervention. Antidepressants can help balance the chemicals in your brain that are responsible for your mood. But remember, medication is not a standalone solution, but a tool that can be used in conjunction with therapy and other strategies to manage your depression. Thirdly, mindfulness. This isn't some new age mumbo jumbo, it's about being present, being actively engaged in the here and now. It's about acknowledging your feelings without judgment, and accepting them as they are. 
Mindfulness can help you break free from the cycle of negative thoughts that fuel depression. It's about finding peace within the chaos, about finding that calm center in the storm of emotions. These three tips, therapy, medication and mindfulness, are crucial weapons in your arsenal against depression. They enable you to understand the roots of your depression, manage your symptoms and find peace within yourself. Remember, it's not about curing depression, but about managing it, about living with it without letting it define you. It's about finding the strength within you to live your life on your terms. With these, we're better equipped to understand and manage our emotions. Armed with our core strategy, it's time to add some finishing touches. Let's dive into the next set of tips that can help us conquer depression. Tip six is to take up a hobby. This can be anything that keeps your mind engaged and brings you joy. It could be painting, gardening, knitting, or even learning a new language. Hobbies not only provide a distraction from negative thoughts, but can also instill a sense of accomplishment and self-worth. When you create something or learn a new skill, you're proving to yourself that you are capable and that's a powerful antidote to feelings of depression. Next we have tip seven, journaling. Keeping a journal can be therapeutic in more ways than one. Not only does it provide an outlet for your thoughts and feelings, but it also allows you to track your progress over time. Looking back at previous entries can show you that you're moving forward, even if it doesn't always feel like it. Plus, putting your thoughts on paper can often help you see things from a different perspective, making it easier to challenge negative thought patterns. Moving on to tip eight, positive affirmations. These are simple, positive statements that you repeat to yourself, such as, I am strong, I am worthy, or I can overcome this. While it may feel a bit strange at first, over time, these affirmations can help to rewire your brain, replacing negative thought patterns with positive ones. Finally, tip nine, volunteering. Helping others can provide a huge boost to your self-esteem and sense of purpose. It gets you out of your own head and allows you to make a positive impact on the world around you. And remember, it doesn't have to be a big commitment. Even a small act of kindness can make a big difference. These last pieces of the puzzle help us build resilience and find joy in our journey. Now that we have our battle plan, it's time to put it into action. I, we've navigated through the nine tips, each a powerful weapon in our arsenal against an unseen foe, depression. But the journey doesn't end here, this is only the beginning. Let's quickly recap our battle plan. First, we have self-care, the foundation of our defense. It's about prioritizing our health, both physical and mental. Second, social connection, our lifeline. We are social creatures, after all. Connecting with others provides the emotional support we need to combat isolation and loneliness. Next, we have tips three to five. Exercise, the physical weapon against mental distress. Mindfulness, the art of staying present and focused. And a healthy diet, fuel for our body and mind. And then tips six to nine. The power of positivity, a mental shield against negative thoughts. Therapy, our guide in the darkness. Medication, a tool, not a crutch when necessary. And finally, a good night's sleep. The body's natural way to heal and replenish. But remember folks, just knowing these strategies isn't enough. We must put them into practice consistently. Just like training for a marathon, we can't expect to see results overnight. It's a process and patience is our ally. Every step, no matter how small, is progress. Depression can feel like a relentless enemy, but it's crucial to remember you're not alone in this fight. Don't hesitate to seek help when you need it. Reach out to trusted friends, family or professionals. There's no shame in needing support. This battle is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's not about winning every skirmish, but about persevering, about resilience. It's about getting back up every time we fall, about learning from our experiences and about growing stronger with each challenge. Remember, it's not about winning every battle, but about winning the war. Together we can conquer depression.